OK, so let's think about a function and imagine taking it and just shifting it along the axes. Well, it turns out we can move a function around in the plane. But the really cool thing is that every time we shift it, we can actually write the new equation that describes that new function. So let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at some parabolas and shift them around a little bit. All right, so first of all, remember that we can describe a parabola using standard form as y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Remember, the vertex of the parabola, that's sort of that highest point or the lowest point, is going to happen at the coordinates h comma k. So x equals h and y equals k. All right, so let's try an example and just sort of practice moving curves around. So y equals x squared. And suppose I want to actually move that up three units. All right, well, here's our favorite perennial parabola. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to move it up three units. So moving it up three units, one, two, three, would make it now be here. So the green curve, the green parabola, represents the answer. But how do we express the new equation for that? Well, if you notice, the vertex now, well, the x hasn't changed, but the y now has increased to 3. And so what's the answer? Well, the answer would be y equals x squared plus 3. Right? I make this number now a 3. Before, we were at 0, 0. Now I'm at 0, 3 for the, for the vertex. OK, so that's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. We saw how to move things up three units. Notice, by the way, that when I moved it up three units, up is in a y direction. And notice that I sort of added three to the y's. Like I made the y's three more than it used to be. That's an interesting observation. Let's try another example. In fact, I'm going to get one way from the floor. Watch this. Did you miss me? Here we go. How about this? Let's look at the same parabola, but now move it to the right four units. So now that's going to be a, an x direction, right? Right is an x direction. One, two, three, four. Well, now where is the, the vertex? The vertex is now located at 4, comma 0. I don't change the y's at all, but the x's are moved over. So if I make the new x vertex value 4, then I put in an x minus 4 there. And so I see y equals x minus 4 squared. Notice here I made a change in the x's. I replaced the x by x minus 4, and I shifted to the right four units. But no change in the y. I didn't add anything at all, because I'm still at 0. So no change in the height. OK, this is good. This is good. Let's try one more. So we start back at, at the beginning. And I want to now shift it to the function, the parabola x squared, to the left six units. So now we're going to the left, right? So we've got to have a lot of room here on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where is the vertex of the parabola now? Whoops, six. Where is the, well, I can't even see now. Can you read this? One, two, oh, that's negative two. Three, four, five, six. I think I'm OK. I think it's right there. Let's pretend that's six, whatever that is. Negative six right there. So now the vertex is located at negative 6, comma, 0. When I plug in a negative 6 for h, notice what happens. I have x minus negative 6, so x plus 6 squared. And then this is still a 0. So what I see now is y equals x plus 6 quantity squared. No change in y. I don't add anything at the end here. And I've moved left 6 units, which means I have x plus 6. And in fact, Really, there's a general principle going on here, that if we move up, then what I want to do is just add the amount that we move up at the very end of the function. So we're increasing y. We change y to the previous thing plus something. If we move down, we're going to take y equals the previous thing minus something. And the tricky part is right or left. And what we see here is if we move to the left, then we take x and replace it by x plus the thing we add. And if we move to the right, then we have x minus the shift to the right. So it's a little bit weird to remember that, in fact, what we want to do is when we move to the right, which seems like we should make things bigger, we write x minus 
the shift, and when we move to the left, we have x plus the shift. So one way to remember that is to remember that when you add to y, you go high. When you add to x, you go west. And that's a good way of remembering that. In fact, you remember the song, when you add to y, you're going to go high. When you add to x, you better go west. Remember that? And that's not good. That's my own personal rendition. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see if we can put all of those things to use, forget about the picture now, and just see if we can now express the new function. So the first one is to write the function of the standard parabola. Oh, I guess actually I could use the picture here if I want. I want to move down three units, one, two, three, and to the right one unit. So that's now the picture, but now let's see if we can figure out what the graphical represent, uh, what the um, algebraic representation would be. So y equals, okay, so I'm gonna move down three units, which means I'm gonna take our answer and I'm gonna subtract three, but then I move to the right one unit, which means I'm gonna have x minus one squared. And so x minus 1 quantity squared minus 3 means I've shifted to the right one unit and then down three units. So you can see how when you add to y, you want to go high. So here I'm subtracting, so I go down. And when I add to x, I'm not going adding x. I'm subtracting, so I go east. All right, good. I think we get the idea. And now let's see if we can just have some fun with this. So here's a parabola. y equals 3x squared. And let's move it up four units and to the right two units. So to the right two units, that's moving to the east. So I subtract two from the x. And up four units means I add four to the y. Ha! Terrific. Terrific! I love this stuff. You know, you shift around a function. You put it here, you put it there. You can always write the equation as long as you're careful. Look at this crazy thing. Y equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 5. By the way, just for fun, where's the vertex of this parabola? Can you see it? Sure you can. It's at 1 comma 5. All right, but anyway, we're going to take that thing and we're going to shift it down 7 units and to the left 4 units. I'm going to first go shift it to the left 4 units because that's an x shift. So left, so what happens, I add, I'm going in the left direction, so I add four units here, so I see x plus four minus the one means I have x plus three, all squared. And then down seven units, what does that mean? Do I add seven? No, I subtract seven, excellent. And there you have it. So you can shift around functions and, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. But what about the 5? Don't tell me you forgot about the 5. You've got to put the plus 5 there. So you can actually make that even prettier by writing it this way. y equals 1 half x plus 3, all squared, minus, and then so we have a negative 7 plus 5, so 2. There. Now everyone's happy because I had that 5 out here, and then when I bring it down 7, I do shift down 7, but I've already shifted up 5, so the net gain is a shift down of 2 from the original position of just x squared alone. So anyway, now we've got the equation that captures not this parabola, but this parabola shifted down some number of units and to the left some other number of units. And if you want to shift up or down or right and left, it's not a problem. When you shift up and down, you just add or subtract the very, very end of the formula. You're changing the y. And if you're going to shift right or left, then you're going to subtract or add the values inside of the x. No problem at all. Anyway, shift around some functions and see what you think. I'll see you soon. <laughs>